Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, uh, episode 380. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to answer the questions uh, uh, raised on the, the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us today, we have Micah Fisher Kirchner. Micah is uh, CEO of um, a, well, he's, uh, it, it's a group of um, a, a, an SEO um, meetup group uh, in um, certain close to Silicon Valley, um, holding a meeting um, in a week's time. We'll uh, love to hear about. Uh, Automation processes uh, in, in the, the field of SEO. Um, Tim Kapper is uh, CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. He's based in London. Micah is based uh, in on the west coast of the USA. Um, Tim, well, I'm not too sure where he's based. Not many people. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Tim... Um, uh, is uh, also a Google product expert on the uh, Google My Business uh, community. David Rosam uh, is uh, a leading internet marketer. He's based in West Sussex, um, down there with Prince Harry, um, on, on the uh, southern side of the UK. And uh, Masataki Wasa is webmaster of, um, well, you can find David Rosam at davidrosam.com. Um, and uh, Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Um, he's uh, based uh, in Wimbledon um, and not far from where all of the tennis takes place. Uh, they're not going to play the, the uh, tournament this year, are they, Masataki? No, it's been cancelled. Uh -huh. Okay, and um, so let's um, kick off with our uh, um, first question. Um, it's titled, when should or would you, when would you start the SEO process? It's from Chris Green. Um Chris said, hi, guys, if you're building a new site, when would you start the SEO process and what would that be? For example, would you start with keyword research first to map out the new site structure? I'd, uh, I'd start the SEO process at the same time as the starting on the site. I would. Um, I wouldn't let the. I, I'm not that much of a purist that I would say that key phrase research would uh, uh, would, would take over entirely the choice of uh, content and structure. I think that you you've got some things that you that go in there anyway, SEO hopes or not. Um, so you have a you have a mixture of things that you have to put on there for. Uh, for all sorts of reasons, like corporate, product, or legal. Um, but as much of your site should should have a view to actually getting people to to those pages. So uh, that's that's from the the keyword research side. You also should be pretty sure that you've got all your technical SEO in place before you uh, before you launch the site. Um, I think Tim said that uh, it's best. Uh, not to go back and fix the site because you've uh, launched it uh, with things wrong with it. So I would get the SEO process in ASAP. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that covers pretty well um, for what, what David put in place. So usually an easy way to put it is, is align it <clears throat> as early as possible uh, to your other major marketing or product tasks. Uh, that, that you have in place. Um, mostly kind of the edges, the earlier you can put that into place and, and stack it along the um, overall uh, business process, the easier it's going to be and the less likely you're going to miss something and have to uh, go back around or, or do a lot of rushing on the SEO side. 
Okay, thank, thank you, uh, David. Thank you, Micah. All right, so let's um, move on to the next. Here we have um, one from Lauren Baker. It's looking to add contributor schema. Um, he says, says uh, oh, uh, Micah is just leaving us. Uh, thank you, Micah. Let's see you next uh, week. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I dallied too long. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it earlier next week, I promise. Um, all right. So, and Lauren Baker is looking to add a contributor schema uh, to an article for someone who helped co-write. Uh, any good examples of this markup live in the wild? I see uh, Vahan Petrosyan said, I, I think uh, specifying multiple authors in makeup should, in markup, <laughs> should work fine. I I've, I've dabbled in. There are many answers in the uh, community answers, though, so uh, that's probably where you need to go. Okay, um, look, I, I won't try and blunder through myself. I'll say that that's um, um, what we have and move on to the next. Number three on our run list is from Kanjal Chohan. Uh, he gives us a question that's titled, my HTTPS is indexed as uh, HTTP. Um, he said, if an HTTP page from the entire website is indexed on Google, but upon clicking that result, the page is redirected to HTTPS, then should we do something about that HTTP page or just leave it be? I think it depends what's actually happening here. I would suspect that you've got a... Uh, you've got an internal link that's H double that's explicitly H double TP um, that's being directed when you when you follow that link. Um, so I think you've got to find the uh, I think you've got to find the um, that link and put it right. What do other um, anybody else? Sorry about that. I, I, I didn't um, share uh, the desktop with the, our questions uh, on it. Um, okay, can we see them now, Tim? Okay. Yeah. So the situation is not entirely clear to me. So um, there is an HTTP page um, that's indexed and that appears in Google search, but the actual page is on HTTPS. That's how I understood the situation. Um, so you know why is the HTTP being indexed rather than the HTTPS and should uh, couldn't you do anything about that? Um, I mean, if it's being redirected, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. Eventually, it would move over to HTTPS, right? Yeah, I think I think you've summed it up nicely, Mister Taggy. Um, yeah. 
And that's sort of the sort of weird issues like the HTTP version being the canonical um, or something like that. That's sort of giving a confused message. Um, otherwise, if it if a site is being redirected from HTTP to HTTPS, then I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's um, move on to number four on our run list. From Anshirina Lim, it's titled The Best Thing to Do to Avoid Ranking Loss After Changing um, a Content Management System. Um, she said, we just transferred from WordSpread, WordPress to HubSpot uh, CMS. What's the best thing to do to avoid any SEO issues and recover the traffic and rankings after it? Also, should we remove the old site? I'm tempted to say buy yourself a time machine because um, you should have done the, the things before you, you moved on. Um, but you can do them afterwards, but you're more likely to see that the uh, the traffic and rankings suffer. Um, so you've got the question of is the um, <clears throat> is the site structure the same um, in HubSpot as it was in WordPress? I suspect that if uh, if you haven't planned the um, planned the uh, the migration. Uh, that the odds are that the uh, that the structure is different uh, in a different CMS, but we don't know in, uh, unless we're told. Uh, you need to set up redirects from the old site to the new, um, and you shouldn't remove the old site if at all. We talked about this last week. Um, so yes, you you need to get um, you need to get some redirects in there. Um, Zero one redirects telling Google where the new content is on the new site. Yeah, and of course we're indebted to Eric Wu for uh, um, his advice on um, implementing a kind of gentler um, transition and on a migration. Um, and um, I don't know why we don't see it, um, more yeah, more of it specified, but uh, simply that uh, he leaves the uh, new site, um, the the old site, I should say, uh, um, online um, and uh, canonicalizes it uh, to the new site um, when the, once the new site's in place, and uh, most of the transition. Uh, uh, is handled uh, by Google, then there's just a few uh, things to tidy up. Anyway, let's go to uh, number, um, I think it's number five <coughs> on the run list. Chris Gould asks the question, should I have Google recrawl my site? Um, he said, so I got my company's SEO dumped into my lap today because our SEO uh, SEO guy left, and I'm the only one here that knows anything about it. So I ran an SEO audit with our SEMrush account, and it says we have 19,000 broken links. Uh, should I have Google recrawl the site to confirm that? I suspect, as someone does later down, down in the community answers I scanned, um, <clears throat> that you've got a something, uh, something in the footer, um, a, a link that that is on every single page, um, or something in a menu that's broken, um, because it's unlikely that you've got nineteen thousand individual broken links so i think you're looking for for something that would throw up errors 
on just about every page, I'm assuming that you've got in the reason 19,000 pages. Um, that would be a good start. Have you got in, have you got in the reason of 19,000 pages? Um, and if that's about the same number as your broken links being thrown up by Semrush, I would say it's something that's on every page. <clears throat> But I would start looking for the, you know, for the gross broken links and and, and fix those or fix it. Okay. Yes, that, thank you, David. That, um, uh, we'll call that a wrap. Let's go on to the next. This one, is, it's, it's number six in our run list. It's from Jason Falls. Um, he says, does domain authority or traffic even matter for my goal? That's the title. And he goes on to ask, okay, let's say I want to rank for keyword probiotics. Uh, I'm not sure if he just wanted links, links to go to um, his uh, Amazon um, product um, that he, he's an affiliate for. But anyway, let's get him, let him get away with that if he is. Uh, he said, let's say I want to rank for the keyword probiotics, 550,000 monthly searches. He said, let's also say that the page I want to rank for is an Amazon product page. So it already has a very strong foundation and authority uh, build up. Um, <coughs> and he gives a, a, um, a product page example for... Uh, um uh, probiotics acidophilus so i won't try and copy it you can see it on the uh, um WCA questions facebook group um he said assume all of these sites have the same niche relevancy the goal is to get to page one for the keyword probiotics why didn't he ask that in the first place uh he said which one of these backlinks is better to go for um, and this is where it gets horrible i thought um, he said, how many backlinks uh, should you get um, a, um, oh, damn. Anyway, um, he, he, I, I let that get, go off my screen, but um, what uh, he's um, said, he, he's, Oh, look, I won't try. You go. Yeah, don't even go. Just don't carry on. Fuck it, Jim. You're, you're <laughs> terrible tonight, mate. <laughs> you're ramblings, ramblings. Right, listen, Jason. So um, uh, the first thing is, is look, you already think, like, yeah, DA is a human made up fucking thing, which we seem to, which humans seem to think is what they understand that the Google, um, you know how google works things out so firstly forget that crap um next you're thinking of buying links well the biggest thing that you haven't even taken into consideration uh, for ranking for probiotics is that it falls into the uh, health category uh, which google considers your money or your life and if you've actually looked at a search query for probiotics itself you can clearly see how Google thinks that is already in a health category. So no matter what you think in terms of links, it's not going to help you. Your first thing you should be saying is, how can I prove my site, right, to be completely 100% utterly trustworthy that Google will consider to display me on the first page for a money or my life kind of uh, 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 search query? I mean, the first thing, obviously, I'm searching from the UK. You will see it slightly different from the States. But the first result, yeah, the first result for me is the NHS, right, which is, the, which is literally the, the, the UK's uh, health service, yeah. Then we start going to Healthline. Uh, then we go to Web, WebMD, right, Harvard, yeah, medical clinics in the States, government, um, uh, other government um, things, fact sheets, right? So <laughs> no, matter, no matter your amount of links from whether you want to go DA, PA, CA, flipping FBA, whatever, it's not going to help you unless 
you satisfy the very first basic, most basic thing to do with the Google algo and health related categories. Okay, and that is proving yourself over and above any of those government, universities, trusted health sites. That's the only way you're going to get there. Right. So end off. Thank you, Tim. Yes, I was rambling. Um, okay, let's uh, call that a wrap. There's nobody else that wanted to add to Tim's um, unequivocal answer. I, I couldn't possibly add anything to, to Tim's. No, uh, how you talk about? Yeah. Uh, I, I just couldn't put, put the emotion into it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was a little angry there. <laughs> Okay, we're now looking at um, another one um, from Jason Pauls. Maybe Jason is selling links and he wants to give some credibility to his query. I don't know. Anyway, Jason, uh, you um, said to help me pick the sites to get backlinks from. Uh, he said if I were to get a backlink from one of these sites, which one would be better for ranking? A DA30 backlink with 200,000 monthly traffic or a DA60 backlink. What, 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 yeah. what, what, why are we going over this? Because it's it's another question he's asked on, on the same topic. Yeah, but he's asking the same thing about DA and backlinks. I know. I'm, I'm, I, I totally agree, but I'm quite happy to run both of them. Okay. So we can... Okay, okay. We can, cool. I want to be able I'm to... Just gearing up. I'm just gearing up my angry answer again. Carry well, on, Jim. Okay, mate. Well, look, get, get angry about DA30 and DA60 backlink with 3,000 monthly traffic. Um, so, um, let me see. That, that, that's it. Okay. Have you built a head of, up ahead of steam there, Tim? No, he still looks smart. Yeah, okay. It still looks happy. Well, I, I'm I'm wondering what their snake oil uh, ranking is. Um, is. Is it is it higher for the DA30 or, or higher for the DA60? I think there's a, a pretty high snake oil rating there somewhere. You know, with, without without being rude um, and without being annoyed, uh, we do have these questions many times shall we say um and it's just just don't do it this is not the way to conduct your your seo you're going to get yourself you're going to waste your money at best you're going to get yourself banned or nobbled by by google at worst um it's not what you do. It's irrelevant. It's not good SEO. It's not anything except throwing money away. Don't do it. Neither is good. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kevin. It wasn't bad. I wasn't David. I wasn't uh, David. It was a bit I don't think David's angry sounded like my angry. You should bloody well know the difference, Jim. <laughs> I do. I just thought I'd get you fired up. Well, I, I, I can't do can't do the South African accent very well. I can only do South London. <laughs> Need a squirrel on your shoulder. Um. You're not going to answer to, uh, for Greg, uh, uh, Tim. Is, uh, do I take it? Oh, please, no. no. Just, just no. make my my efforts pale into insignificance. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> let's wrap this up for, for Jason and we'll go on to the next. Um, here we have uh, one for Nick Doors. Google is not showing my page description. Uh, Nick said, hey, guys. Um, I'm new to the group and SEO in general. I'm hoping that the name of the group implies tolerance when it comes to basic, um, also known as dumb questions. Yeah, and, and he's added a smiley face. But I, I think the smiley face uh, epitomizes what we are about here. 
Um, he said, um, uh, I've added a meta description to my page. However, Google is still showing alt tags when I enter my site, um, uh, uh, site URL. Sorry. Uh, he said, I signed up to the, the Google Search Console, verified my domain, and can see that the site has been crawled, but the meta description isn't what appears when I enter the URL of my page directly uh, into Google Search. Am I missing something fundamental? We are always very nice around here, except for when people ask about buying links, then we might get a little bit. We might boil over a little. We might get a little bit hot under the collar. Um, but yeah, this 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 is um, this is Google Google rules. Google does what the heck it wants to for reasons only known to itself. Um, seriously, um, the yeah, your meta description may or may not turn up uh, in the search results. It's nothing you're doing wrong. Um, Google uh, will decide to show it or not show it partly down to its whim and partly down to the nature of the search and the the page content. Um, you know, you can try rewriting it um, and see if Google likes it more. Um, it depends how important it is to get that meta description over. Um, I, you know, I think sometimes I think we spend too much time on meta descriptions. And it's a good thing. You, you, the argument is, is surely right that you can uh, increase your click through with a with a good um, meta description. But so much of the time, Google does what the hell it likes. But sometimes I wonder whether it's something that that we should be prioritizing. You know, we can do we can have a couple of goes at it, and if Google's not playing ball, then. Uh, I think I'd move on and do something more fun. Um, that's my view, anyway. Uh, I'm sure other people will have other people will have different views. But the the basic thing is that uh, Google does what the hell it likes. Okay, uh, and um, welcome, Nick. By the way, and uh, please uh, feel free to ask uh, any question. No question is done. Come on. All right, let's um, look to um, our next. This is number nine on our run list. It's, I think it's our last question for the evening uh, from um, uh, Chris Green. It's titled Clicks, Impression, and Sessions in Google Analytics. Uh, Chris said, hey, guys, we've had a request for clicks and impression data for SEO. The only option is Google Search Console data. However, the data, for example, clicks, can be completely different to what we're seeing in Google Analytics, such as sessions. Why is this the case? What have I done wrong? What have you done wrong? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why, why, why? What, what, who? Um, the, 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 this is, this is the old, uh, this is the old chestnut, isn't it? Um, Google Analytics and Google Search Console measure these things in different ways, so they hardly ever agree. Um, unless they are really, really massively different, it's probably just what you're going to have to live with. Um, Michael Martinez gives a nice list of things that might be going wrong. Um, and they're probably as good as I'm going to come, with, come up with off, uh, off the cuff. Um, I find it interesting that he says that always trust Google Search Console data more. Um, I must say I have a, an inherent distrust of of. Google Search Console, especially recently, when, when it's been seen to doing some all sorts of wonky things. Um, but uh, I'm not sure I want to take Michael on on that one. Um, you know, maybe there is a, uh, a a good technical reason why GSC is better. But as I say, personally, I'm 
I, I always <laughs> have a question mark in my head whenever I see something a bit peculiar on Google Search Console, and that's much more often than I, I would like it to be. Yep. Um, well, by the way, let me thank uh, Michael Martinez and uh, Brendan Michelin and all of the other people who are answer questions um, through the week um, on dummy CEO questions. Um, they, they make it such a, a valuable resource and, and we're truly grateful for their participation. As we are with the participation of people like Tim Kappa, David Razam and Masataki Wasa. Could I just add to this one, question nine? Um, sure. So the list of things that, you know, um, uh, may make um, Google, Google Analytics less reliable. And it, it sort of is number six that Michael wrote. And it's all the anti-tracking extensions and opt-outs. Um, if someone has an ad blocker or anti-tracker on, then that normally blocks Google Analytics. So, you know, that's... A, depending on the market, that's anything between 10 to, you know, 30 odd percent. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. And I, I have a, a wonderful plugin, which I'm just trying to find in amongst the 900 <laughs> plugins that I have on my, uh, <laughs> on my Chrome bar, which basically opts me out of uh, of Google Analytics. Yeah, there's one by Google on right. Chrome extension, for example. And I, I run it, so I don't want to be messing up my clients' uh, analytics. Yeah. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, the official Google Chrome extension is downloaded in more than a million times. Um, so that that's specifically opting out from Google Analytics. But if you have any other ad blocker, anti-tracker um, kind of extension add-on, then, you know, those will block Google Analytics. So I generally tend to um, trust the numbers from Google Search Console more in that respect, because I, you know, at least that's coming from the source, as it were. Whereas Analytics, it, 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 there can be many sort of false things going on. But at the same time, there are many things that aren't captured because the users don't want to be captured. Yeah, I, I see the argument. I just wish Google Search Console um, actually did give higher numbers than Google Analytics most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's proven in circuses. I mean, Google Search Console's never been meant to give you all the data. It's, it, yeah. it's always been a representative sample of, of how things are now. Um, and, um, you know, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you. I, I, I don't trust, trust that I, um, I, I'd rather take the, the raw log files and um, process them and um, uh, look at the data from your own ser server logs. Um, you always get so much more insight from that. Um, the idea of Google providing the uh, Google Search Console and so on was not to help you, but to help uh, Google hide. Um, that's the, that's the, the thing. Anyway, uh, when I click this button, it'll be that time again. Yes, it's thank you for watching time. We'll be back at the same time next week to do this uh, all again. Who knows, maybe Tim Kappel will answer a question this time. Um, and <laughs> um, yes, we'll be, we, we'll, be, uh, we'll be ready. And thank you. Um, very, very much for your participation. Without you, there'd be no point to doing this at all. Anyway, um, let me click this button to close this recording off. Um,